Have I got news for you from the right, right edition. Welcome and happy day. Hey, in Kansas, at the University of Kansas, recently the chancellor there has suspended a journalist professor because he sent some tweets out that weren't very nice with regard to gun control. Clearly, the guy's a Democrat or it's real raging liberal. Hey, those liberals, they got attitudes sometimes, don't you know? In any event, this is what he said in his tweets. He said, those damn gun rights advocates, they oppose more gun control legislation. Blah, blah, blah. We don't care about them. And then he went on to say, this, this is kind of not very nice. He said, I have a death wish. I tweet a death wish on the children of the NRA members. Oh boy. Talk about emotional and maybe, you know, a few dots there aren't connected. Do you think in Canada, the Conservative Party there promised to restore gun rights to gun owners by way of canceling Bill C-68, a communist bill that was put in years ago by the Liberal government then. And now they've adopted it as their own. But here's what I like to say to that. A right delayed is a right denied. Pretty much covers it, you know. Now in Virginia, you have a Democrat candidate there that he says, I don't care what the NRA does to me grade-wise. You know what? I can just say, what I want, and I am what I am, and on and on. But then he goes on to say, I agree with the Republican nomination, or nominee rather, in that when he says, <laughs> you know, gun control wouldn't have stopped any of these crimes, I agree. Oh, oh but by the way, I want more gun control. Kind of needs a brain control there because he's going in circles. Richland Hills, Texas, recently a woman there was arrested. This is all about Big Brother, you know. She jumped a stop sign several months before she was arrested. They pulled her over and said, hey, there's a warrant out for you. You went through a traffic or a stop sign and you weren't supposed to do that, so we're going to arrest you now. They put cuffs on her, took her to jail, did a strip search. Can you imagine? What's going on with all of that? Big Brother, somebody's got to watch these people. You got Okami now with his website rollout cost, and he's over a billion dollars so far, and it's over $600 million, more than it was supposed to be. Get ready, it's going to be a lot more than that. The company that he has working on it is the same company that did the the long gun registry mess in Canada you know, several years ago. And I think the overrun there that we know about at least was in the billions of dollars, several billions. And here they're doing it again. Why would you hire somebody that's already proven that they don't know what they're doing? Oh, oh, oh. maybe Okami doesn't know what he's doing, so he thought he might as well have good company. Just say it. In Chicago, actually in New York, more like it, Al Sharpton is saying, I'm going to Chicago and I'm going to stop gun violence. I'm moving there. He said this last July. Now he says, hey, I'm really doing it. I rented an apartment. I will be there at least one day a week. Don't! How about that? Have you got a da there? What's he going to do in one day? You're going to go and stop the gun violence in Chicago. Sounds like you're kind of shooting off your mouth. Just saying again. A jewelry store owner who uses a wheelchair recently stopped the bad guys. Bad guys came into the store and said, hey, give me money, give me jewelry. And he pulled out his firearm. He shot one. He held the other until the police came. And the police said this. He says, everyone has a gun permit nowadays. It's not very safe to be a criminal. you got to kind of watch where you go. I guess they had this guy cased out. He was in a wheelchair. And I guess they must have thought he was helpless. Not so fast, because they're not. Now, Kelowna, British Columbia, the Kelowna City Council recently, raw, raw for them. They have gone against a staff recommendation. Most cities don't do that. The staff, for the most part, they're a bunch of little Hitlers, or can be. Not all, I get it. But they say, you can't do this, you can't do it. They kind of forget who owns what, right? They kind of think they do. One guy went in and said, I want to build a house on my land, my farm. And one city planner, land use planner, Todd Cashin, said this. He says, you know what? Your estimated value right now is about a million four. If you build a house, it's going to go up to a million seven. And that's challenging for potential new owners in a resale scenario. Get a trailer? Duh! You just want In any event, the city council did look at it and said, we're going to do it our way, thank you. But, but they should have maybe scolded him. Who is he? Who are people like that to say to landowners, they really are the owners, do this and do that? I mean, do you think maybe there's a little bit of left-wing stuff going on? I kind of think so. Here's a joke. Lighten up. Here it comes. The next time you all get a call from a block number, answer it and whisper. It's done, but there's blood everywhere. And then hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.